What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a new project slash ICO review. Since uh, it, it, it's been a long time since I've covered a real ICO. In this video, we'll, co we'll talk about Bitcoin Spark, which is a new sort of Bitcoin network. It's very interesting. I'll tell you about it. All right. I'll also dive into the technicals a little bit because it's needed. That's the only way I think you can actually see the value of this project. Um, but they've also just started their ICO, so there's a lot of potential in that as well. So without further ado, we'll talk about that. I'll tell you everything you need to know. So let's get started. All right, now let's get right into the video. First, a quick introduction. What we'll do is I'll first give you a bit of a, a brief introduction on Bitcoin Spark. Uh, so we'll take a look at some, some things on the website. Then I'll talk about why it's actually special and why it has potential. So we'll also talk about some technicals. Uh, that there's a lot of technicals you can read about. In their white paper, I'll focus on, on the ones most easily understandable, but also the most important. Then I'll tell you about the ICO, what's going on, what it is. I'll tell you some tokenomics as well, and then uh, and, and then we'll get to a conclusion, all right? So first of all, Bitcoin Spark, what it is, is it's basically a new layer one blockchain, all right? That's what it is. And it draws a lot of inspiration from Bitcoin. It's also a, a hybrid of proof of work. We'll still get into that a little bit later. Uh, but it is a real network. It's it's not only a uh, a new token. It's really a, a valuable product. All right. So they themselves says it, it's it's a second chance to buy Bitcoin early. I'd say it's a it, I'd say it's a first chance to buy a new sort of Bitcoin. Um, complete financial privacy. A a token that is actually mineable and they have huge mining rewards that that can last for over 120 years. So that's amazing. Uh, and a lot of upside potential for, for early adopters. They have an application as well where you can very, very easily start mining. Um, mining rewards, like I said, are amazing, but we'll still get into that a little bit later when we talk about the tokenomics, which is not right now, even though you can see it on the screen. And, uh, and overall, I do want to let you know that if you want to know more about Bitcoin Spark, then there will be links down in the description. And I think the pinned comment, all right? So if you want to read more about that, then uh, check that out. But now let's actually dive a little bit more into the depths. All right, so like I said earlier, Bitcoin Spark is a real new layer one blockchain, which draws a lot of inspiration from Bitcoin. So let's talk a little bit about why it actually draws a lot for a lot of inspiration from Bitcoin and why it actually has potential. So first of all, the transactions per second are significantly improved by decreasing the time per block. All right, so it has a higher TPS than Bitcoin. Second of all, the, the quantity of nodes is significantly increased, which uh, allows the fees to be uh, smaller or lower as well, which we all know. I mean, the, the Ethereum fees are, are by far number one in terms of high fees, but Bitcoin fees can be quite high as well when compared to, for example, layer one, layer two blockchains. So Bitcoin Spark actually has lower fees than Bitcoin. Apart from that, anyone can mine. You don't need huge mining equipment to actually get started. It's, it's very low barrier of entry to get started and they have good rewards. And they have implemented a smart contract layer. All right. So apart from that, and this is actually very interesting, I think, uh, apart from that, apart from just being a new layer one blockchain like Bitcoin, which is used to, to transact Bitcoin and just to, to, to transact value, they also allow you to build smart contracts like Ethereum. All right. So now let's talk a little bit about technicals. So first of all, they don't have a proof of work or proof of stake. A consensus mechanism they have a proof of process which is basically a mix of both so you have miners or validators they're, they're the same in the system and they both provide staked tokens so the bitcoin spar token which we'll still talk about a bit later but apart from that they also provide computational power all right so so it really combines proof of work and proof of, of stake because you have to stake and they also have to perform work and then transactions. So wh whether that's data or, or value transaction, um, they all are, are shared among these, these node operators, these miners, and the rewards are shared as well. But this is revolutionary. I've, I've never heard about this. So this is uh, the first of the three technical things I wanted to talk about. So second of all, like we also talked about a little bit before, is that you can actually build smart contracts on Bitcoin Spark, which right now is not possible on Bitcoin or barely possible, all right? Um, but, but Bitcoin Spark is actually made for this, all right? So they have different layers. They have a rewards layer, mining layer, consensus layer, and execution layer. And the execution layer are two uh, layers running in parallel and, and encompassing EVM, so Ethereum Virtual Machine, and Rust language contracts, which also allows smart contracts that already, already exist 
to migrate over to the Bitcoin Spark network very, very easily. But this is, I mean, this is for sure a technical improvement on the Bitcoin network. And apart from that, adoption is also incentivized because they have their own bridge. So BTCS is the name of the Bitcoin Spark token. Um, you buy that on Ethereum or, or BNB or Polygon and you can actually bridge that over, all right? So you can bridge it to the Bitcoin Spark network, but also vice versa. Um, so that just allows the, the token also to, to get some, some, some adoption, which is great for the Bitcoin Spark network as well. All right, so now let's actually talk a bit about the tokenomics. And the ICO. All right, tokenomics themselves, as you can see, mining rewards are 80% of the max supply. And the, the, the ICO itself is 19%. The team tokens are 0.24%, which I like a lot. Um, not like that's that's very low. Obviously, though, or not obviously, but they'll probably be mining as well. But altogether, it's great. They have some other revenue sources as well, but you can read more about that in the white paper if you're interested in that. And then 2.4% uh, uh, goes to uh, liquidity pools and exchanges, which is a bit low. Um, uh, I, I don't think that necessarily will be uh, will be a problem because it's 11% at the launch. But uh, but this is the token distribution right now. We're in phase number one of the ICO. All right, so you can buy that for one dollar and fifty cents and actually get a nice bonus. It launches at this point of time, November the 30th for $10, all right? So even, that's also one of the main reasons I wanted to, to, uh, to, to showcase this project, is you can buy it at a significant discount, all right? So even if we have, for example, a 50% decrease at launch, which I, which I doubt, um, you still have a profit, an amazing profit, all right? So right now, ICO is only in stage number one. You can buy it here at the top, at the top right. Like I said, all the, all the links will be down in the description then uh, via their portal you just have to sign up at your wallet address and you can very easily buy it with uct bitcoin cash ethereum all sorts of co coins you can buy that here and the distribution will be right now as it's planned the 30th of november so check it out if you're interested in that apart from that i would also recommend you to check out bitcoin sparks medium where they post a lot as you can see a lot of articles uh, really diving into the in, into the technical so if you still um, if, if, if you think this is interesting or you still need some convincing that this actually technically is a sound project, then you can read more about uh, that here. For example, about the proof of process validation system, which we talked about earlier. But for now, that's my view and that's my review of, of Bitcoin Spark. So uh, both of their network, the technicals of their network, why it has potential, um, but also the ICO, what's going on, different phases and how to participate. Um, now, if you do have any questions still about Bitcoin Spark, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.